problem getting trucks. And so I'm gonna go down here and grab a load or two, try to help out. So get to get a get to get a little look at a corn harvest. Uh, getting pretty close to them here. Kind of out here between Memphis, Texas, and uh, actually between Clarendon, Texas, and Claude, Texas. I don't know if anybody knows the area, right off of 287. We'll be on the north side of the road is where they're uh, where they're cutting out here. And uh, it's uh, 45 degrees, a little bit chilly this morning. The sun is bright, as you can see shining in on me here. So we're gonna get in here and. Uh, Load us some corn, and then uh, we'll be hauling it either most likely to Freona, Texas, which is the other side of Amarillo, pretty good little haul. Or they said we, we, we can take some, we might take some of it to Amarillo, so Amarillo's not too far away from right here. So we'll see what's up, and uh, hell, I'll catch y'all here in a minute when we get in the field. Okay, so y'all, we are uh, got turned around here off the highway and uh, headed back kind of south and east, a little more east and south. So let's run right into the field up here. Boy, that sun is bright, ain't it? So let's run into the field up here where we're going to be loading up somewhere. Like this road's going to curve back to the north and then back to the back to the east. So talk to my uncle, Adam. He, he loaded out here at seven o'clock this morning. They told me to be out here a little bit, a little bit later. I don't know if I need to go around, around this house here or through the house. Jump off and make a phone call right quick, y'all. Son, jacking me up, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna, we gotta go right in front of this house. Right into the field right here. Oh, I see the pickup right here. The house is just hiding them. Turn road right here. Got a turn road to go around the, around the pivot, around the circle. side of the circle. I think they're gonna be moving here in a little while. And yeah, it looks like they're blowing out the blowing out the machine over there. Pretty good looking cotton over here on the left too. Great combination. They go bowls on there. <laughs> Sorry about the sun, y'all. It's just that time of morning we're going the right direction. I know it's reflecting off of that hood. That white hood is bright when you're going into the sun. Got some of my wife's kin folks um, working out here. A guy by the name of Javier and a guy by the name of Weddo. Weddo. They work for this. They work for this guy. see where they want me to park at. I would imagine up in this corner here somewhere. 
Right over here and get turned around and out the, out the sun. Now this corn right here has got to get cut still. Now, all right, y'all see the, all the equipment parts here. I'm gonna jump out and go holler at this uh, at Walker, he's the man in command out here, and uh, we'll catch y'all here in a minute. Hey guys, we got parked out here. They're still getting their equipment ready over there. Got chilly out here this morning. Got the GoPro set up there on top. Y'all can see them dump when they come and load us with the, with the uh, buggy. <clears throat> see right here on the different combines right here. That old combine just strips the corn right off of the husk. This is all feeder corn right here, y'all. Uh, this is what they take to the to the uh, uh, to the feed lots and whatnot to feed the cows. Each uh, each plant out here usually has two uh, two husks on it. It's all it's got. So these are smaller ones out here, but you go into each stem, so you got one. A lot of these might just have one out here on the end. But, boy, you'd be surprised the amount of corn comes off of those. Fill some back here. You see the corn there. Yeah, that combine to come. Got a little bit of cotton out here on the turn road. It's all opening it up. It's all opening up. It's kind of windy, y'all, so it might be a little noisy, but... <laughs> guys are doing their deal over here so getting all the equipment ready I'm gonna fly my Blanca she ready to do her deal got the tarp road doors are closed on the bottom It's funny, the uh, the most viewed video I have on the, that we have on the channel is a hopper bottom video, and I called it I called it Hopper Bottom Hump Day. Get over here out of the wind where y'all hear me. Yeah, Hopper Bottom Hump Day, and uh, man, that video has three times as many views, four or five times as many views as any of my videos. It's weird. I guess a hopper bottom is a it's something people want to see so unless that hump day has something to do with it i don't know <laughs> but so we used to do a lot of hopper work uh moving fertilizer around dry fertilizer around with the hopper bottom but we don't do a whole lot of it anymore so maybe we'll get some views on it today you know old hopper bottom for y'all that, that don't know it here let's walk up top here and i'll give you a give you a view Hopper bottom's got two compartments. You can see the door down there. And there, there's a cart compartment up front, identical to this one. So we'll load in both compartments and that kind of splits your load up. And then usually you're unloading onto a pit. You can either draw this stuff out just like you do with a rock bucket. Um, we'll be unloading into a pit today. And sometimes you'll even unload into an auger tray or a or a uh, conveyor belt. 
got a pivot. All that cotton is starting to open up, y'all. Y'all see that white out there? Another two weeks, they come in and kill it, and all the plants' uh, leaves will fall off. It will look like it snowed out there. All right, well, I guess we're going to... We'll sit here and wait and wait on to get over here and we'll get started. Hey, let's go look at this cotton right quick. There's a pivot right here, y'all. This one's irrigation. This thing rotates on the center down that way, and it just makes a big old circle. If you look at these, uh, if you look at these patches from the sky, it looks like a big circle out here. But um. I see cotton see here some of the cotton that hadn't opened up yet here's what it looks like after it opens up pretty good looking little patch right here anyway hell we'll catch y'all here in a minute once we get started get get low getting loaded here 806 drop b and b trucking just another day at work
exit block back there where I got to get on the loop to go around town here. I have to go up here and circle back. I think we're a little heavy. I haven't loaded this truck and this trailer in over a year. We just haul a lot of fertilizer with it and we load it on scales when we haul fertilizer. So if I, if I remember right, if uh, memory serves me, that's good over here. Um, you stay on about 70 pounds on my truck suspension gauge and about, I don't know, around 70 on the trailer suspension gauge. Well, I'm about about where I need to be on the truck side, but the trailer suspension gauge, I was looking at it a while ago, and I was sitting on about 80 pounds, so I think I'm a little heavy on the trailer. We'll find out. We'll get a good gauge on it here in a minute. Get in here and get weighed in. Still got it. Probably about 50 miles to go. Right here, 76. We got some asshole up here fucking doing 40 mile an hour in a goddamn on the highway. That's probably, uh. You gotta pay attention to these people right here and give me room to turn. You gotta pay attention to these folks here. They block you in. But no, man, the hot corn, you'll get crap in your eyes and everything else. Yeah, so, seems like every time, last few times I've hauled anything like this, uh, got crap in my eyes. And it's, it's right when I start trying to talk on here that it starts bothering me. So. Tell him to go ahead, but he looked down by the time I told him to go. There we go. I think I might have got it moved around up then. What y'all think about uh, Oak Glory here? And uh, got my army flag home back up back there in the sleeper, too. Get a little backdrop action going on. I still gotta give me a, a a Texas state flag to put up too. But uh, yeah, I figured uh, figured that'd be a nice little addition. To what we got, what we got going on here. So, but, but anyway, I was just gonna check in, let y'all know we're loaded. Uh, maybe a little heavy, but uh. We get over here to the elevator, I was talking to my uncle, he's gonna give me direct directions on what I gotta do in there. It sounds like it's, a, most of these elevators, you kinda just weigh in, dump, get out of there. It ain't that big of a deal, but this one sounds like it's a little bit of a process. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna film it. I thought about putting the GoPro, uh, doing a first person view while we're in the elevator on top of my head. <coughs> I don't know how we're going to do it. I'll hear that or I'll just uh, talk to y'all like this. I might put the dual gram on and uh, get the camera forward facing in the truck and me and then uh, put, the, put the GoPro out there on the trailer. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out though. We'll, I'll, I'll think of something for you. I got, 50 miles. I got 50 miles to think about it. So 50, 60 miles to think about it. So hell, we'll catch y'all in a minute. Uh, site of a puddle of mud performance that did not go well and after that performance uh, well they deleted the band's Facebook page for a while. That was back in 2015 though.
think I can put a 14 foot door in it where I can get on turbo a little bit later. Ed Rollins going to be the guest DJ on Tom Petty Radio. Actually, it's coming up here very shortly. 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 a.m. Pacific. Ed Rollins is the uh, lead singer of Collective Soul. He's giving Tom Petty songs, tell some stories. You may be here over at Channel 31 on Sirius X. up on the scale here in a minute. I'll check back in with y'all. Alright y'all, we're rolling up on the scales. Ready, and you take the inward last right. Yeah, 
B&B number three, bringing in a load of field corn for mustard seed farms, uh, farm number 1878. I'm sorry, go ahead. What was that again? I'm bringing in a load of field corn for Mustard Seed Farms, uh, field number 1878. What's your name? Chris. Number three. Fifth field number one eight seven eight. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The other guy told me that was the last load from the field, the one he had on. They were just finishing up when I got loaded this morning. Okay, I was just making sure. Is it Adam? You talking about Adam that was here a while ago? No, the truck that just actually just pulled around in front of you, he told me what he had on was the last of that one field. Oh, TM4. From me. Um, nah, there's, there was uh, one more truck going to be behind me too, I think. And he probably have a, have a partial from that field. All right, y'all. We got checked in. They're probing the trailer right now. See if y'all can see it in the mirror. See, see that arm back there reaching in. What that uh, what that arm does, it goes in there and takes uh, some of the corn out, sends it inside, and they'll check the moisture content, check it for any uh, USDA makes them do it, check it for any uh, any abnormalities or whatever, make sure it's not contaminated, all that good stuff. It's called probe in your trailer. You get get a trailer probe. Got the GoPro off underneath right now, y'all. Ain't much to see sitting here on the scale, but when we go to dump in a minute, I'll, I'll kick it on. I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes, though I didn't, and it's hard to, kind of, it's, it's back there just far enough to where I can't get a good signal to it to turn it off and on through my phone, so I had to get in and out. And, of course, they want you to wear a hard hat and everything else in here and just, getting in and out, turning off and on, off and on, set for 20 minutes or 15 minutes at a time, it ain't worth a damn. Right now what they're doing is checking that corn. Usually don't take too long. Usually in these places, if you don't know what you're doing, just kind of act dumb. And okay, Chris, you can head to our dump pit number one. Don't dump it until one of my guys lets you know, please. Okay, thank you. I'll just go on around. This is my first time in here. Yeah, just pull off the scale, take a lift, and go around. You'll see where all those other corn trucks are at. Okay, thank you. We're good to go.
back here to elevator number one, which my uncle already told me it'd be the, the last one back here, so. The last one back here, slide this phone over a little bit, get that mount out of the way. going the right way. I was gonna say there was two elevators back here, but Hurry up and wait, y'all. Hurry up and wait. And we'll get back in with y'all here in just a second. And get moving here. All right, y'all. We rolling in. We rolling in. Look right quick. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Let's get out and see what's going on here.
Got her kicked off. Easy please. Gotta go back across the scales and get her ticket. didn't know they call me the coca-cola kid that's my vice y'all that's my vice tagged on cokes you don't even want to know how many i've already had today or how many i have on a daily basis i'll get a sponsorship from coca-cola as much as i drink hopefully they'll pay my doctor bills one of these days or how bad it might mess me up got to go over here to the little blue building there. Seed Farms, Chris, that would be me. And that's all there is to it, folks. Get out here and look at it here in a minute.
Damn tar getting to hell, y'all. Wind trying to blow it up. Shiny side up and a hammer down. We'll catch you on the next. Enjoy the ride.